uh, where we want where I wanted to start was that you were saying that you had these paintings of pictures of alien spacecraft, right? Mm -hmm. Spacecraft, and I also just threw in some aliens for good measure. Um, <laughs> but you've heard you've heard that Jesus was the first hybrid, right? That no. Mary, oh yeah, that Mary. I mean, Mary, um, was the first. Artificial, biological. Artificial. Ah, she's her first uh, inseminated. Yeah, because she, yeah. Virgin Mary, I get the it. The hybrid. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I just don't, uh, I, when I when I hear the stories of Jesus and Mary and Joseph, I just automatically think fiction. Right, but people don't, which is why religion. When I, when I but when I, but when you, when you consider the story of Enlil and Inki, and right. how they tell the story, then yeah, that it is a story of them changing the human genome. Exactly, you know the story, that story, right? right. Um, for those that don't, Inky and yeah, Enlil. Well, you know, <clears throat> well, there's another crazy that, story. That just look it. it up. Just just Google Inky and Enlil, and just Google it and look it up, and you'll get the story and, and how they their creation story and how similar it is to. The biblical story but we won't get too deep into it but yeah yeah their story is a story yeah. of yeah. literally changing the human genome speaking of which i read that blue beam the way that it would play out is as exactly to the book of revelation so i have never read the book of revelation i told you that last time so mm -hmm. anybody that wants to watch it you know follow along as it <laughs> unrolls see, you know, one of those things that we were talking about earlier is i that uh, human belief manifests. Right. And because they forced so many to believe this, this manuscript, this text, is mm -hmm. one of the reasons that it appears to be manifesting because we are actually manifesting it. Right. Exactly. I always think of, I think of the Bible as the playbook, not the prophecy. Mm -hmm. That's my, that's my point. Yeah. So to see that, yeah. Um, End times have always been in progress, though. If you look back throughout history, I mean, there's always. Yeah, but where are your photographs? I want to see the pictures. Oh, right here. You got to share the screen because I can't record it. Sorry. <laughs> Just started talking. Share screen. And then we got this here. There's like share three or screen. four of them that I've seen, probably the more famous ones. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. No, I got more than that, but I didn't, I didn't have much time to collect them all. Let me see. You see it? You see my screen with the. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Aliens. So I can just press play. I just, if there's sound, bear with me. I'll turn it off. It's just Apple sucks. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, so this is, and excuse anybody who doesn't believe in the black Jesus. That's the only picture I have. You see that laser ish okay. thing? Can you Should like it go slower? It? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll go slower. Go back one. <laughs> I didn't know it was so bad. Okay. Go back one photo. One photo. Okay, now this. See, like how he's. Yeah, and how he's shown seated in this sort of craft looking object. Always. Always. That's the only, black, that's the only picture of Black Jesus you have? No, I have tons, but I wasn't, oh. it wasn't that kind of show. Oh, okay, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I thought that's what I heard you say. Okay. Oh, All no, right. I said that's the only picture I have. You know, I okay. don't have a white Jesus to show y'all. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so go to the next one. And you I said, what is this? It's late. It just it looks like a laser or something shooting out of this. Well, some say it looks like a light bulb. Or a light bulb. But yeah, it looks more, more functional than just light to me. But I wasn't there. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Yeah. Miss, the snake. I, I mean, it could be something spiritual that they're that they're just depicting. I just feel like we're idiots if we don't start to take some of this stuff more yeah. literal. Because the... But it, how do you take that literally? I, with technology. We're just not... We, yeah, we're trained to not do that. But if you take that in, a, in a, literally, then you're going to have a, a flower bud with a tube no. in it. But that could be the way that they designed their, the, the hardware. But you can't take it literally, is my point. You absolutely cannot take it literally. Fine. I mean, more literal <laughs> than saying every single one of these things is the way that they 
depicted their gods or whatever. Well, they like built this, the, 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 the pyramids and there are no scorch marks inside the pyramids. So they had to have electrical light because how else would, would they, they do see and and things not they have fire. So right. yeah, they had to have light. So um, the, you've heard the stories of Tartaria, right? Of course. So, so many. Yeah. <laughs> What's the next one? Um, this is just Mayan art, which I find uh, there's so much or Aztec. One of the two, I find this stuff, it's so intricate and so mechanical. And there's a lot of just alien type of depiction. I didn't mean to um, necessarily put this in here, but since it came aboard. Uh, no, uh, it, go back, go back. It reminds yeah. me the the detail work on it and how precise it is. It reminds me, um, you know, when you, the, the how the Sphinx is exactly anatomically correct and how each half mirrors the other half and it couldn't have been done by hand. Right. Um, and look at the star fort shape in the back. Excuse me? I just noticed that. The what? star fort shape in the back, in the background. Ah, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, you wonder how they were able to do something with such precision. Right. And yet get conquered by a couple, you know, white dudes that just sailed across the, you know. Yeah. Just... We're missing something, huh? Yep. And then let's see what this. I'm mm. sorry, I don't have the, the context for this, but that's okay. Do you have any idea what year it is? I don't. But this shape, right? This you've seen this before when they talk yes, about the left yes. universe. Yeah? yeah, I actually saw a documentary on the God. I've seen so many documentaries on different things, and I can't remember what that is. But that particular piece of art is portrayed in lots of different areas, right. if I'm not mistaken, all over the world. That particular symbol. Yes, and the symbol appears. It's something to do with the electricity of our universe. That's yeah, all I I'm saw missing. that in relation to something that was saying that Saturn used to be the sun in our universe. Have you mm -hmm. heard about that? I, and, yeah, I have. And and I've heard that, that our universe has gone through major cosmic shifts, and it's not like people think it is it, where it expands or whatever. But there's sometimes violent shifts in the universe, just like there are on Earth. So, which mm. is why they say New Earth is coming and our earth is supposed to turn into the sun i believe the sun evolves goes up and then a new earth it's also one of the explanations for the asteroid belt that that that, that was an exploded planet um, when Sam, oh yeah, Saturn moved go. into its new position right so it knocked that i don't feel like we are where we were i really don't feel like we are where we were i don't i don't know if it's flat or if it's run honestly what i conclude well i'll let, save that to the end um okay so there's that there goes one. That's like Columbus <clears throat> or something that time. Well, there's castles. Yeah. Well, that that drawing, yeah, style. Yeah. I mean, okay. Well, the that's other thing interesting about this, though because if like, like like so if if I stay with Bill Cooper and he says there's no evidence of it, and then you see something like this where they hallucinating was it actually a craft? Where were they saying it was a craft, but it was actually a meteor? You know, it's it's hard to say. This is. Not necessarily evidence, but I believe that this is super compelling. Right. And this actually, what they did say with a lot of these, those shaped like that, they said that they were comets, specific comets that are written about. However, they look a lot to me like Elon's space things that he sends up there. They're shaped the exact same they way. They look like a common flying saucer. Like what? You're a right common right. flying saucer. Right, <laughs> a flying saucer you know, inside. Yeah, from the fifties. Yeah, sixties. You know what I mean? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Pictured over castles and shit. Pictured over castles, and this dude's like, "What's that?" Right. I mean, a bird. So this one looks even more like a spacecraft to me. And look in the background. There's even more. There's a bunch I'm of. To figure them. out what is that like a fleet of ships or something? It looks like it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And then the leader is Jesus. So this is all one picture, right? So these yes. people here at the bottom are mm -hmm. milling about and not really paying attention to the space invasion. This is yeah, I believe that Jesus is explaining to his. Isn't friend. that what you were saying about the folks not looking at the, the uh, yeah. 3D stuff in New York, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just everyday occurrence over here, right? Yeah, apparently. But I think Jesus is explaining to his friend that these are his people. 
And this is how they do stuff. And maybe they can't. It be also looks like a portal, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But the spaceship's behind it, I guess. Could be. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. know. It's very but what did they expect? I mean, what did they say that is? Those are clearly discs in the sky. Indeed. I don't know. It's interesting. Indeed. At the These same time, even if they are discs in the sky, it does not say that they came from another planet. Correct. 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 We just associate um, these flying things saucers. Things that we haven't things. seen, things that we're yeah. unfamiliar with, with things from someplace else. I mean, there's a lot of stuff of things that come out of the ocean too, you know? Yeah, yeah. And some of these are supposed to be, they go in the water and 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 the air. They, so they'll go from the air right into the ocean with no problem. Right. Which makes sense. Right. And we haven't exactly explored the sea <laughs> to, so I think... Say. 95 right. percent of it yeah or so, so this say. one though, right so they say i think they're scared i don't know go or ahead they know. or they're not yeah. allowed they might have decided know. it's you know. one of those things kind of like antarctica where you just don't know right i mean you know okay. they're in agreement on some stuff but that's what yeah i'm saying right. like a treaty like, like you know they all mean? said let's not study this <laughs> or something right, right. <laughs> they all said, let's or not go. people that live there were like you won't come down here Right, right. You, <laughs> yeah, right. That yeah. was the story. <laughs> that was the story that I heard about um from the first moon landing that they got there and there right. were people there. Right. And they were like, Y'all y'all don't want no part of this. You're not ready for this. Going back home and you're we'll let ready. you know. Yeah, you and we'll let you know when you when you can come out is basically what I heard the story was. That's why NASA was know. like okay. That's nuts though, right? <laughs> Like, nah, y'all yeah, yeah, can't handle this. Y'all blowing shit up. You, you can't handle this. We'll let you know when you can, you know, get it together and we'll let you know when you can, mm -hmm. you know, come so out you of your... So you cool with China? China? Say again? You think they're cool with China? Because China's yeah. going back two more times after their last one where they took pictures of that cube on the surface and then they went to the dark side, which we never see. Or so they say. I know. I mean, but who could tell the biggest lie? Like they could go on forever. It's just a mess. I mean, I you you heard the, the, the famous I can't remember his name, but <clears throat> let me see if I can find this real quick. He Did said he that the, the moon, moon he said that the moon was plasma. He said it wasn't even solid. Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember him too. Yeah. Well now one thing, you have a theory about the moon and that we expect to be able to get observable facts about the moon fairly soon. Um, what is your theory? Well, uh, it is by now rather more than a theory. Uh, Ten or eleven years ago, I said to, to various scientists that the moon is not a piece of rock, but it is a plasma, a plasma phenomena, a cosmic plasma, uh, and that this fact will eventually be confirmed. I made certain predictions which were already confirmed in 1958, and the situation now is coming close to a complete confirmation. What will be the result if you are proved to be correct in your theories? The result will be uh, profound and decisive because it will give proof that a complete re reinvestigation of the laws of nature is necessary. Because if the moon is a plasma, no man will ever land on it. The soft landing attempts will all fail. That means that the mass of the moon is less, far less, than is currently assumed. It's in a different state of energy and it has far less mass. That means there is no more explanation for the tides. If the moon, for example, had only a thousandth part of its current mass, then the tides would only be two inches high and the conventional theories instead of sometimes 14 feet. And that means that if it is proof that the moon is a plasma, then all gravitational theories are out and the new concept of the cosmos and of its laws is to be evolved. Aren't you being a bit adventurous though, because uh, you know we're going to be able to test out your theories on the moon fairly soon. Well, not anymore. Eleven years ago, uh, of course, uh, it was rather taking a risk. I was considered a lunatic, of course. But by now, the evidence, accumulated evidence, is already so much in my favor that I'm not taking any risks anymore. On the contrary, uh, there is scientific views expressed all over the world now that uh, the moon uh, seems to be of a quite different nature of what was assumed. But and the, the Americans and Russians are thinking of landing men on it. Oh, well, that will never happen, but on the moon. On Mars, on Venus, and other planets, yes, but the moon is definitely, as I assert, the plasma. Remember him, too. Yeah. That's, that so, ties into the electric universe theory. Right. 
Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, you see the moon wave. You saw the moon yeah. wave, yeah. Yeah. Pro seven seven seven. Yeah, the yeah. moon wave. That that's More a quickly. trip. Okay, it's going to come in from the top, and I'll cue you right when it's going to start. I have a marker down on this one. Okay, and it's getting ready to come in from the top here. And there's the first wave. And you can see it bowing around the moon. So, right here I'm showing that the wave goes out of frame, then catches up to the camera. This has always been proof uh, that it's a filmed event, even though uh, this you know, I showed this, people have, you know, badgered me nonstop and ignored this evidence, but it means what it means. There it is. There it is catching up to the camera. Uh, that has always been bulletproof evidence um, that I knew and understood that this was a real event, and I stuck to my guns, and now we have confirmation on a level that's just not easily dismissible. Yeah, and there's other stories that say that the moon is basically their large satellite that keeps us under mind control right and they do call it a satellite well yeah it definitely has i mean lunatic comes from lunar they say it's know. hollow and it ring like a bell and stuff hits it mm-hmm. the moon is one of the least understood objects in our in in what we you could put the moon up there with gravity um with satanism <laughs> should you don't just should you just don't understand right should the digital domain yeah. make no like a sense <laughs> yeah, and it does, I, oh, another theory is that they pulled it here, that it was pulled here, that it did. It used to be way further out, and it was dragged. Are you done in. with pictures? No. You got more? But this one, I thought this one was interesting because it does have a star in it, so that kind of speaks to the sky, right? Not. It could be a starfish. I don't know. It could be in the ocean, correct? I don't know what those other things are. These like. Um, you know, and I don't mean to be picking everything apart or anything like that, but I just, <laughs> like I said, I just want to stay grounded. When, when, right. when I approach situations like this, because I, I want to explore them, but I'm not going to just get swept away like, oh, that's definitely a UFO. I don't know. Right. And that's, so- I mean, the saucer, I, I totally get that. And I'm, I mean, this I'm- could be a fishing lure and a starfish and a spear because they're going fishing or something. I don't know. Lure. They didn't even have pens, they only had stones. This one, I'm talking about <laughs> no, this one on the top, huh? I know, but they carved that into stone. So yes, I don't, I don't know. know. I, and I'm just, and I'm just making outlandish guesses. You know what I'm saying? I'm right, not right, trying right. to be necessarily realistic, but I just want to make sure that there's another way to look at it. Does it, if that makes any sense? It does. Yeah. No. Absolutely. And we should look at things this way. This I don't even know. This is a yeah. A sun. It looks like the sun is about to. I don't know. If something is, is hitting the sun. Right. Why is the sun seemingly so close to the? you know land <laughs> i don't something i don't know that might be a weather climate thing okay let's see here's more these ones are very old so i believe oh, australia similar to the one now they were had they had some that were like this they had the three spikes in the head or the, the chandelier in the head they had what say again <laughs> Uh, remember the the photo that you showed a few photos ago that had the guy with the three spikes for a head Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, I call it a shallow chandelier or a. Um, okay. It also looks like what's the a menorah, right? A menorah, yeah. Menorah, yeah. Right? And yeah, and they I've seen them with the bodies like that and the the chandelier head. I believe this is, I believe this is Australia. Okay. Either that or, I'm just gonna roll with Australia because okay. they have some weird. I mean, see, that's interesting. Yeah, that's literally right? a or- coin with a spaceship on it. I don't know what else to call that. Right, and it looks like there's an ocean beneath it, so that would imply the sky, unless I'm, I mean, you, well, we just don't know. That doesn't look like an ocean to me, because I see, like, spears or something. Right, you're right. Maybe those are sailboats. Um, <laughs> I think if you could get the spaceship in that much detail, then you could do better on sailboats. Is that a Agreed. dog in the spaceship? See, don't start on the dog-headed man because there's a lot of those. In well, it looks like there's too. a dog or something in the spaceship, right? Mm-hmm. From the dog star, Dogon. I, no, I'm just saying, is that there's a creature it in there? Like it, that looks like yeah, it does. It looks like a dog. I'm talking about this guy right here. It looks like a dog flying a spaceship yeah. and a little mm-hmm. friend over here. Yeah. And those almost look like letters at the bottom. Are you? 
Yes. Which ones in the picture or around the, in the picture? Uh, the, these mushroom looking things on the yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know. I, I want to know. The writing. Right. So this is definitely Australia. These are just, I don't trust owls. <laughs> I don't know what they are. So I don't know. I put that because it's weird. Nothing yes. in this space. This looks like when you take the trip and go talk to spirit people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. They, they call it, what do they call it? The dreamland? Dream, you know, Austra aboriginals. So yeah, that just got thrown in there. This that looks like an astronaut, an angel, an astronaut. Both. Because uh, the illumination. Uh, interesting. Astronaut, interdimensional being. Could be. I mean, angels overall are angel, interesting. Astronaut, interdimensional being, they could all be the same thing. The the illumination. They, the enlightenment that they depict, it looks like it could be a um, helmet from an astronaut, you know? Yeah, like a space helmet. Yeah. They tell us this is the way they worship the sun. Maybe it's not the sun. Yeah, maybe it's not the sun. I mean, striking here to me is the size of this big one in the middle with the long head. Right. <laughs> Right, we got the so, normal size yeah, one here the on the head, left. The but... Yeah, I mean that's depicting a giant. Looks like to me, and it does definitely. look like a different species. The head definitely looks like a different species. Maybe she or he, they <laughs> <laughs> are. I don't know. Sending who knows, but it's not what we're told. That's the that's the main point. It's I really. Um, India has a lot of flying crafts. Can yeah, the um, Mah Mahabharatu describes some stuff in major okay. detail and even battles and stuff like that that took place. Exactly. So, yeah. And uh, and uh, nuclear stuff, yeah. too. So, But this one, so, yeah, so this might be just a flying craft that they... It doesn't necessarily look like a spacecraft as we know spacecrafts to uh, be described. If people them. take the uh, the the writings in India as seriously as they take biblical writings, does that is that evidence for extraterrestrials? I mean, their gods are blue and have, you know, 20 arms. I don't know humans like that, so I'd say yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, my am I boring you? No, I don't know. I keep I yawn like three times in a row. I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Another one. I don't know. This is kind no, of this blurry. This is not boring can... at all. This is not boring at all, huh? Okay, cool. I don't know. Don't read the words because I just, you know, I find them. I don't get to say what's on the what people see. But I just see this disc up here. But it's a little blurry, so it could be. I don't believe it's part of the clouds, because that's that. So yeah, we have that. see that this is one i've seen before this is actually part of a larger picture oh is it and what are what else is in the picture uh Maybe. there's like this is a lady here and this is like just in the background mm. but I've, this i've actually seen this one before it's like i mean they didn't tell us that we had flying stuff back then so it's easier to assume that it's not from this world why but then again, it could be from a different dimension yeah well that i consider that not of this world though still but, but it's, well, when it's we say not this world, we assume that it came from another planet. Is is all? Right. Excuse me, is all I'm saying. And I'm just trying to play devil's advocate to that until I see like concrete evidence, because so many people are warning us about Project Blue Beam. It seems that's mm -hmm. something that we should take you know take heed to. I mean, and since it's been going on for so long, isn't it possible that they could have gone back and altered pictures so that we would you know predictive programming possibly i mean you've seen the art that ai does right yeah yeah there we go india mm -hmm. what's above your head what are you flying on <laughs> I don't know. but that's a winged person type thing winged, yeah that's but like this a hybrid it's got hands and feet just it's like a oh yeah i didn't notice hybrid. that <laughs> i didn't notice that i just automatically my brain said phoenix or eagle or whatever griffin 
but yeah, it's praying with them. It's cool. Let me go is... back real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just noticed the little thing floating above the, the head. I was like, what that's is that? That's what I was talking about. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. But then I looked again and I'm I, I'm not sure. It even looks like a craft, but it's floating. Yeah, it looks, and... yeah. I mean, it's there, but I don't see craft or anything. That looks like hologram technology. Something, right? It, this one is very old and well, more well-known, but not spoke. They don't speak about that part of it, I believe. Yeah, that looks just like Project Blue Beam right there. <laughs> like they they? In. Huh? Right. But look at what it's illuminating. Th these figures down here, are they? It That's looks what I'm like saying. Them. It looks like they just, you know, blue beamed in. Oh, Mary like Kelsey they're the technology. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And look at dude. He's just got his back turned. He's like, whatever. Hmm. Shit happens, you know. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting, dude. Okay, these ones. Yeah, are I've seen cute. these. I mean, yeah, it could be yeah, water. They appear to be in some sort of craft or something, you know? That's know. looking like it could be a comet, but it could be in the water. We don't really hear about stuff like that, though. I mean, but in all honesty, it could be... Uh, it could be... Maybe. It could be spirits coming to enter a womb or something. I have no idea. You know, uh, the the the... I don't know. I mean, I just have no idea. Mm -hmm. It looks like, well, they put them together, but like one, the one, they have one. Yeah, one here on the left and one on the right. Yeah, They're, the one on the, on the my right, right looks like it's He's not. looking backwards. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of like not as evolved, maybe. I don't know. Like souls returning to Earth to be reincarnated or something. I mean, I don't maybe. know. You know, I, just don't know. I know what it looks like to us, but we, we've been uh, programmed with this, you know, with Star Wars and Star Trek and all that stuff for so long that mm -hmm. we can, you can't really divorce yourself from it. And what does Jesus have to do with it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's, I mean. Right, with her fleet. <laughs> right with jesus but not jesus because i believe this is oh yeah but jesus looks different right he has this kind of head thing going on not the illumination but the three what are they called uh, well that's because he's supposed to be the sun and that's supposed to represent north east south and west you know that right no, not the. I never saw that yeah. on his head, or I never noticed it on his head before. Yeah, that's the that's okay. that's well, him on the that's the him on the cross is the representation of the solstice, solstice, and the northeast, southwest, and all that stuff. That's why he's, he's this, uh, in, in early art. His head is always pictured on a cross. Oh, okay. No, I didn't. I did not know that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So then we have. Let's see. I don't know how many left. Are. Oh. That's interesting. More of these. That looks like, sorry, that looks like, that looks like um, one of the Sumerian, early, you know, early Sumerian statues that we see or carvings. The face, I don't know about the ball that he's in or where he came from. It looks like what Superman came to Earth. <laughs> <laughs> and see, that's another thing. That's it. Like I said, it's not just movies. They seeded that to us in comics and all sorts of things. Like you, th there's other planets, one called Krypton, and they could come to Earth and be different. They could look just like us and be different, and all this other stuff. All these things right. have been seeded for decades. There's so they many no, stories, but they have no basis in in anything real. We don't really actually have any. Of these things, yeah, that's a that's a Crowley's could Crowley's. be a gray. It could be a, a well, that's, you know what that is. Right? It could be a, a robot. What, who, who is that? I think it's. I, I personally think it's AI. It's a, some interdimensional coming in as AI, and they've been around forever. But stories for another day. I this is Alistair Crowley's, the guy that gave. Oh yeah, him the guy that he drew. Yeah, yeah, he drew the guy that he was contacting, right? That he was yep. spirit contacting. Yes. And it looks like a gray yeah. alien, kind of. 
Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. And and these owl things that they draw. See the owl beings. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, so there goes some more sky stuff. It looks like there's like dinosaurs <laughs> or something. What are those next to it? Uh, I, don't I don't know. know. The people are drawn so well, you would think that, I mean, yeah, I don't well, know. Well, that, we'll go back r real quick. The people mm -hmm. are drawn so well that you have to give credit to the representation of whatever that is in the sky and whatever these things are that are floating around it. I just don't know what they saw. I True. mean, the, pain, the pattern and Okay, everything. that's a good way of looking at it. Right, right, right. Something we've never seen. So how could I say that it's not drawn well? Right, yeah. I mean, it's it's at least drawn as well as everything else. Right. right. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's definitely not in the sea, though. It's in the sky, but it doesn't mean space still. Yeah. And there are these things that are accompanying it, definitely. I don't know what the hell right. this is. <laughs> I, I can't think... tell. It looks like a house on the ocean with sea serpents it's flying in. Like, it might be Thai, uh, in the Thai art, Thailand. In Thailand, mm -hmm. it looks like some of the temples that they have because they have an Asiatic feel. It could be India. And then there's, you know, all type of stuff going on in the sky. It may always be in the sky. I don't know. And it's so, look, you saw he has the illumination thing around his head too. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's not, yeah, stuff in the sky. I mean, Besides airplanes and stuff, we don't have, I don't see that much stuff in the sky that I've seen in these pictures, that's for sure. Well, we don't look up that much. I do. I look up and all the time. I study the sky. <laughs> um, We might not be able to see them. Maybe they. there's like a... Well, yeah, and you can't see as well, also with the glare of the city lights and everything. Do you have a telescope? Right. There's there's a, yeah, there, and and space is polluted as hell. We have so much stuff up there. We have a web over us, you know. What do you think about so that one? Say, or so they say. Right. Well, my satellite tracker tells me so. These just look weird to me. I don't know why. Why do we not talk about this more? They don't look like people to me. And then well, we're talking about Project Blue Bean. Yeah, true that. And whether right, or not right. they're aliens or not. Aliens, but well, those hard. look like <laughs> those look like regular people to me. What kind of people are you kicking with? That looks crazy to me. They look like super duper extra extra pale, but that's because of what it's on. But still, like the and then these ones are definitely like snaky above them. I don't know anybody that wears hats like that. Is that a hat? <laughs> they just look I don't creepy know what it to is, me. But the people look fairly normal to me, represented to me. I don't, I don't like them. I'm not going to hang out with them. Probably. Uh, that's not really sky. There goes another. What the? Oh, this is like the that logo I just realized. The uh, Fiat, right? With the dragon eating the, the kid. You know what logo I'm talking about? Yes. That looks like that to me, but I don't know. Those look like astronauts. Like space ghost. Yes. Yeah, that show Space Ghost. No. Uh. Uh. It sounds familiar though. The kid is it, it a, a kid cartoon? Show? Yeah. yeah. So. See, I don't know if that's a craft or if that's the sun or what, but it's right. interesting. And it's on either side. They're doing. They're. Yeah. Okay, we're back where we started from. Well, like I said, so, it's yeah, really okay. compelling. It's really compelling, and I, I just, I don't have an explanation for it. Is the best I could say. I just don't, I don't have an explanation for it. I know it's that maybe, maybe. In, in my lifetime, I haven't seen anything like that that I would draw, or that you know, I haven't seen anything remotely like that. But I mean, uh, only on <laughs> we saw the guy that, um, you know, we see we see people have UFO sightings all the time. We. You can't tell if that's a UFO. You can't tell if it's from another planet, from another dimension, or if it's these, from us. These seem like they're daytime, daytime viewing, some of them, you know, because they're, well, it's daytime in the picture. And then they are able to actually draw. All we see are, is lights. You know, we see lights. And 
You can't tell if it's from another dimension, from another planet, or from us. You just can't tell. There's no way to know. There's no way to know. Yeah. It's above my pay grade. That we may not know what shape the earth is, and we may not know what those things are in the picture, and we may not know a lot of things, but we do know that we've been lied to because things aren't what they say they are, clearly. And I think that's that's the most important takeaway. Take because yeah, as long as you know that you're not being told that who yes, you are, yes, where you come from, yeah. something is off, and they're lying to you for a reason. Yeah, exactly to control you. Exactly. exactly. It's the only reason you lie. I've seen some that looks like um, like on the on a cave that looks almost dimension like interdimensional, like it like fades out and like they found one recently in Turkey. And they're just like, oh, he didn't finish the drawing or whatever. And I'm like, that's not what that is. He finished the drawing. You think he's going to carve for that long? So, and it looks like they're fading into the picture, like coming in from somewhere. It's interesting. Every video that I've shown you, I've seen already. But I show it like it's my first mm -hmm. time watching it. Because I, wanna, I okay. want people to be, we're, we're teaching them as much as we're having our discussion and conversation and stuff like that. That's kind of why I reacted like I did with Voice to Skull, because I was like, I don't have anything to teach you. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, totally. All right. Ending.